it really, really. It's hard. Sandra Keen learned of her niece's death just hours after Jasmine Andrews texted saying she had marks on her neck from where her ex had choked her. But Jesse Andrews Jr. denied doing anything wrong. In fact, he told police Jasmine had later shot herself at their Jeffersonville home. But Jasmine's father told the detective to look at Jesse Andrews. I said, he did it. And he said, yeah, we, we, know, we know he did it. He said, it said, his statements just are not matching the crime scene. Andrews was charged with murder this week, six weeks after the crime. And that's something family, including brother Todd Cochran, are grateful for. To get that justice, it means a lot. But now the family is left wondering, could they have done more? She's a beautiful girl and she didn't deserve this. No father should have to lose a daughter like this. In fact, the relationship between the former couple was so strained, family tells me it had been more than a decade since they spent Christmas with Jasmine. And when they did see her, it was only when she was able to sneak out of the house, maybe for 30 minutes at a time, coming here to her aunt's house. I'd ask her why she was still with him. She never had a really an explanation as to why. So, and I'd just ask her, why doesn't she leave? She's still, you know, she tell me she's trying to, but she just never did. It's why, in the wake of Jasmine's death, her loved ones have this message. If you have a daughter that you know is being abused, try to get them out, try some way, any way you can. And if you're that girl that's being abused, try to get out. Try. In Jeffersonville, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Jesse Andrews Jr. remains in the Clark County Jail without bond. His next court date is set for June. The victim's family says they'll be there.